Now let's take a look at the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is another experiment that actually shows that light behaves like a particle. This shows that light waves with a certain frequency can strike a metallic surface, thus freeing an electron. These two variables that you see right here, these are both constants. This H is called Planck's constant, and this C refers to the speed of light. So let's say that we have our wavelength and we have our work function, which by the way, this work function is the initial amount of energy that you need to free this electron in the first place. I also have the two constants listed up here. So let's go ahead and plug these values in. So first off, what I'm going to do is take the two constants that I see up here and plug them in for both H and C. Now I'm also going to take my wavelength and I'm going to plug it in for lambda. Now what I need to do is subtract off the work function. This should be the equation I get. So let's first go ahead and evaluate this fraction. Multiplying the two constants and then dividing them by the wavelength, that should give you this value. Now what I need to do is subtract off the work function. That's going to give me 7.6 times 10 to the negative 20 joules. So that right there is the kinetic energy of the photoelectron that was formed from this light photon shined on the metallic surface. Now here's a crib sheet for dealing with wave functions. That was a basic introduction to quantum physics.